thousands of runners from the tri-state ran in the Boston Marathon. And tonight, some of those runners are making their way home, all with stories to tell that they never imagined. Nine on Your Side reporter Kendall Harold was at the airport as their plane landed. Local defense attorney Michelle Barry Gotze returned from Boston to teary eyes and big hugs. Her family was overwhelmed to see her, knowing the marathon runner survived a terror attack. It was a long, long night, and uh, communication was in and out, in and out the whole night. You know, we, we might get a very garbled sounding phone call and then. Nothing. Barry Gotze had finished the marathon in a personal best time, three hours and 31 minutes. She was blocks away when the first bomb went off, but she still knew what was happening. Maybe three seconds before the blast went off, again, we were, we were already walking the opposite direction, and all four of us smelled gunpowder, you know, very distinct. Um, you know, you recognize from the 4th of July that smell, and Three seconds passed. We commented to each other, "Do you smell that gunpowder?" And we all we all did. And maybe three seconds passed, and then the the blast went off. Barry Gotze wasn't at the finish line when the bombs went off, but former Congresswoman Jean Schmidt was. Heard this horrible boom, and then I saw the smoke go up, and I I was startled. And I just stood there, and then I heard the second one, and I ran. Despite what they witnessed, both runners say the Boston Marathon won't be their last. Got my my best time, and I was thrilled about that. And you know, there was a good like 40 minutes of just pure like jubilation in that before this happened. So, um, you know, take that with me. You know, it, it doesn't it doesn't crush that. And that was Kendall Harold reporting. Barry Godsey says she still has a goal of running a marathon in all 50 states and Washington, D.C., too. Former Congresswoman Jean Schmidt says she'll be running in the Flying Pig Marathon here in Cincinnati in just a few weeks, marking her 100th marathon. Among